Welcome back everyone. Thought I'd do a bit of a difference on how we can do these fridge motors. Separating the tops off them so we can get the copper out. Hey Barney. Uh, that's our little dog down here. Still looking after him. Um, don't know when the fella's coming back to pick him up. He's actually in hospital so we're taking care of him. But anyway, I've got two pretty much in close proximity size wise in diameter. Uh, I'll use the grinder on this one here and I'll use the grinder on the, oh, not the grinder, the plasma cutter on this one. Uh, still learning how to use the plasma cutter, but I've been really practicing and that sort of thing. But uh, what I'll do is we'll do a uh, time frame on how long it takes me to do grinder versus plasma cutter on one and the other. So we'll do a time on how much it took me to do plasma and how long it actually takes to do the grinder. I reckon the grinder's gonna take the longest. I am starting with a new wheel, new wheel. Um, plasma tip, not so new. So it should cut it pretty well. I've done a few tests and that sort of thing. Um, should go well. But anyway, let's get to it. We'll do the uh, grinder <laughs> one first. Get it out of the road. It's the noisiest of them all. All protected, got the gear, so let's get to it. One minute and 48. Not too bad. Um, that's only on a small one. Probably on a larger one. Probably take longer. And we've only got to get two and take all that out of there. That'll be fine. This is only to see how long it actually takes by doing that. Uh, don't know how that one's going to come out of there. I'm not sure. Just give us a look here. Gloves are a bit small for me today. This is not included in the time. It's only a matter of how long it takes to cut that out comparing to uh, the plasma. That's all this is all about to find out whether it's going to be worthwhile using the plasma cutter to cut them out, how clean it's going to be, all that sort of jugger. But anyway, um, I'll just get this one out of here. See my got it here. Work out how this one comes out. It's got a couple of kits down there. Still may need to use the plasma cutter after all. Because I cannot seem to get that out of there. Ah, uh, 
don't think nothing up I think you know. we don't usually wear gloves mm -hmm -hmm. there we go that was easy easy peasy throw that down in our drum then we've got a couple of caps there a couple of caps plastic caps that come off then the allen keys so we're going to make it quick and simple see we're using the grinder on this one we'll grind couldn't be bothered going to and um, getting an allen key and undoing it get the plastic caps off of course I'll get the grinder back out again about like if I had time that really and go through that probably would be about probably two and a half minutes maybe maybe less not sure uh, I can do another one a bit bigger one two of them together not that hard I've got heaps of them over there shouldn't use a screwdriver as a chisel though no use got to get those bolts out of there Gotta get the bolts out, son. Okay, <clears throat> got that part. Steel and drum wire there, and that'll go over in our motor section for me to put it into the press over there and slice it in half. But I've got to get check to see if it's aluminium wire and that sort of thing so we'll just put that over there um now we'll get to and do this here. so that one minute and 48 is that right oh come on phone come on oh, that's yes one minute 48 we'll reset that and we'll set this aside now there will be some sparks uh, that sort of thing, like usual with a plasma cutter. That's down there. So we'll give that a start now. Make this up first. That on to yo. Good earth. Start. Come on, start. Doesn't want to start for me. Here we go, we're starting. Let's get into this.
Vanessa doesn't like it. <laughs> Just bear with us, everyone. Right, now that did take longer. Let a bit of air out of that. So it doesn't blow off. It doesn't blow the pressure valve. Um, it did take longer, not much longer, but I would prefer nearly two and a half minutes. Um, I would prefer using the plasma cutter. Why? For the time that it takes to use a grinder, minute and a half, up against two and a half, for the time that it cost that it costs you to replace a wheel, that sort of thing, like you've got your, your crucibles and everything like that with the tips, but the amount that you do would outweigh the cost of, because they're way cheaper than all of the wheels and that sort of thing, um, it'd outweigh the cost of the wheels. In time frame, um, you could take your time in consideration and all that sort of thing. It's always a factor that you've got to think on when scrapping out. So, just in that, um, like you've got to look at and how much you can do in profits and that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, that's only a matter of whether you like using a grinder or you like using a plasma cutter. But anyway, I like using the plasma cutter because it's nice and clean for me. Um, I haven't got emery going anywhere. It's all going inside here. I find it quicker. Um, as you can see, it's been a quite a clean cut. Don't mind that. So, um, and that is a second-hand tip. Like, I haven't really used much of that, but she's a real grotty old tip. Um, like, I didn't use much of the grinder, but, you know, it's um, just one of those things. That's too small for that. Down in there is not... I like using it, don't mind it. Now I am only using uh, a eBay special, cut 50 uh, plasma cutter. This one down here, does me, DC inverted, air plasma cutter. I've only got it set on 20, 20 amps. Um, it can go up to 50 amps, actually it goes to 53. I uh, got my air set at about 32 PSI, uh, which is, oh yeah, 32 PSI. But anyway, um, that's how I've got that all set up. Seems to work all right for me. I have had it really cranked up. Um, blew the fuse. <laughs> that happens. So anyway, I'm going to continue on here with this one. Try and find out what sockets we need. Um, shouldn't need this anymore. Uh, got it all cut open. Turn that off. Get a bit of silence here. Find out what one we need. I think it's that one there. Because I'm trying to plan out which is the better way of actually doing these because there are a whole heap of fridge motors I have to do to actually um, get done. Where's that part? I'm looking for a certain part and it never is around when you want things. Always the catch-22 here. I'm looking for the one that goes into there. June probably used it last. No, nope, it's over there on that one. That's a tenner. Yeah, that's the tenner. That can go to that one. Might be nine. Nine. So anyway, um, it's only a short one for the day. Hope everyone liked how I presented this uh, grinder versus plasma cutter. Five sixteenths. 
Um, so if you've come this far in this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Um, more people smash the like button, more people get to see this video. And if you wish to subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That's a copper washer right there. Look at that. Always pull them apart. Get your copper washers out. And, and don't forget to share the video. By all means, leave a comment. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio, everyone.